So this is the <clears throat> this is the intro for this video because uh, my main intro um, when I was re recording it, um, sometimes the mic doesn't quite work whenever I turn it on, so I got to like reset it, and I failed to notice that. So I have a whole bunch of dialogue of people just looking around, moving their mouths with no audio. So to kind of sum it up, I drove all the way to Utah. Because we didn't really have any work going on for about a week and then so I had an opportunity to go shear in Utah and I and I drove there and then uh, when I showed up the uh, axle to their shearing plant was bent and so they were kind of stranded there and stuck and uh, yeah so we spent the well when I arrived um, they were trying to figure that problem out and so then he, they called the next job and they had a trailer, well they scheduled a trailer to come out to pick it up and then bring it to the job itself. And if you keep watching the video you'll see that but um, I feel like I should include the dialogue, <clears throat> not the dialogue, the video without the audio because I think it's cool to see what's going on still even though there's no actual talking. So just kind of make it up in your mind what we could be saying like oh look at that it's a bent back so huh, interesting and so um enjoy Hello and welcome to Ralph McWilliams Share and Supplies and uh, this is Ralph McWilliams himself. Uh, he is one of the main distributors of sheep shearing gear and equipment, hand pieces, anything related to sheep shearing in the US. And as you can see he has a nice selection of combs and cutters, hand pieces, machines, anything sheep, sheep shearing related he has for uh, the seasoned shears or just people who want to shear one or two head. You know, uh, don't be afraid to give him a call and uh, he'll uh, He'll be more than happy to answer your questions and have a good and have a good talk with you about anything sheep sharing related. It looks like they're going to back up the trailer onto that trailer. And angled is this going to work one way there's only one way to know is by actually doing it that I read before it has like a different meaning the next time in the trailer you did it a is good job on the trailer <laughs> hey Quentin good job what was the issue there for a while well, our uh, our bent axle had that tire all cockeyed 
and it made it just impossible to turn it with the that wheel would just shove it off the trailer every time no matter which way you tried to turn it mm -hmm. but as soon as we pulled off that tire and chained up the axle and put a block in the in the torsion springs like yep pulled right off no problem and you did it first try second try second try okay now yeah good job thank you yeah thank you there it goes yeah, we're really out there pretty far Driving on roads like this for the last 20 miles. So um, we're going down this hill and it's at 12%. So um, by Wyatt. Oh, there he finally gets the pickup going. There we go. Places that I would have never been to before. I mean, check it out. Look at it. I'm, I'm in a valley with weird things like that. And there's everybody else up there. We are finally here. Oh my goodness. That was a journey. There it is, the sheep shearing plant on a trailer. What is that? Oh, look at that. It looks like all those using that kind of tag. Oh, yeah. Puppies. Puppies. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, how was that drive? My car. How was that drive? Beautiful? Beautiful? Awesome drive? Yeah, bumpy. As crap? Yeah. Crap is not very bumpy. Look at that majestic sheep. Right there. Right there. Right there. Her and her babies. Drinking milk. Overlooking. I think they're too. Uh, I can't tell. Overlooking the sunset. Jeez, that's. Dang, we got about the same quality. Dog quality. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're finally at our destination here. Um, this is probably the most remote spot I've been to yet in my sheep shearing career. I mean, look at it. Look at it. And then, and then, and then look. Look at that dumb look on his face. Okay, enough of that. So, but the road out here is very treacherous, lots of bumps, and um, everything in my camper fell onto the ground. <laughs> so, but um, uh, it's a enjoyable place out here. And um, 
I'm kind of glad it came out because this 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 is kind of cool. Stop that. All right, it's next morning. Let's get cheering. Ah, uh, just kidding. It snowed a ton. Oh, so much snow. <clears throat> On days like these when there's snow everywhere and snow on sheep, uh, we do the things that we've been putting off for a week, like laundry, grinding all your tools, uh, editing videos. Yeah. All right, we're finally here, all set up and ready to go. There's the crew, everybody around the heater, like usual. There's Wyatt just being nonchalant and stoked over here, but kind of like the cold doesn't bother him. And there's Kuno, who's just pumped for everything. And there's me just hanging out. Well, you're the greatest hero that ever lived, not just bothered. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, never bothered me anyway, so. I was wondering, you know, So the, um, the Peruvians are bringing in sheep, but I don't know from where. Might be over yonder somewhere. The sheep right there, but we need more. We need more. A lot of these girls are, they're lambed out. But look over there. See my black pickup? No. See Starlink up there? There is no service out here. So Starlink has come in clutch for us today. Not today, but on this job. I have internet. Satellite internet. Anyways, it's just a waiting game now.
witness something for the first time. Maggot. Oh my life. Oh. Yummy? Real. Look at that. Maggot. Oh, he thought it was ten times worse. I like watching the maggot squirm and die in the blue coat. You know what I just found? What? Uh, yeah, the other side. Yes, they're more. Yeah, 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 they're Put that four bits outside. Ew. 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 So that was a fun morning. Finished out all the lambed out use. And the, the best part about shearing lambed out use is how they find each other. Look at this. It's a zoo! I mean, it looks like most of them found their moms, but I still see a few, a few of them wandering around a little bit. Oh, look over there. Do not land out once. How wonderful. our first day here out, out at this location in the middle of nowhere and this is at Phoebe an awesome female shear she, she's got one heck of a grip when I shook her hand she crushed it and uh, here comes Wyatt hey Wyatt how's it going what do you think of this wind and this sand what do you think about uh, Phoebe and how she shears? She does a hell of a job. Oh, I mean, <clears throat> good job, clean sheep. Yep. Well, that's it. Okay. So, Much appreciated. Yeah. Thank you. Anyways, today we started with a bunch of lambed out ewes, yes, and then we got the not lambed out ewes. I don't know which group sheared better. <laughs> Probably the. <laughs> Yeah, probably the non land values probably shoot better, but it's a it's a close one though. Anyways, check it out. It's a good thing that I carry around a bunch of paperweights right there. Otherwise, my Elon Musk Starlink would would have fallen off my pick right there.
paperweights. 100 pound dumbbells. <laughs> Taking off here. Hey, you don't mind being on YouTube, right? No, no, no. I'm a chip. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I kind of forgot to record over the few uh, some of the runs there, so sorry for uh, not very much sharing time. I know some of you watch my videos to watch sharing. Some of you watch to uh, see what I'm up to. But anyways, middle of nowhere, Utah. It's my time. My other contractor gave me the call. He's like, hey. There's much snow, but we can still share. I'm like, okay, I'm on my way. And so I really appreciate these folks here for letting me tag along for a few days, giving me an opportunity to shear some true rain sheep. They were uh, interesting. Yep. Thank you. Hello. Yeah, no Thank worries. you, Quinn. Great time. Yeah. Nice meeting you, Mark. Nice meeting you, Shanks. Phoebe. I don't care about you. <laughs> That is the end of that video and if you enjoyed it please like it if you enjoy my content please subscribe for more and also check out my instagram famous james experience and then also check out my facebook page and also i do have a small store too and uh if you if you're a fan of my uh, channel please buy a shirt or a coffee mug i love drinking coffee today's my day off so i'm gonna go edit some more videos and wash some tools and thanks for watching the famous james experience yeah.